Tucson is a city and the county seat of Pima County, Arizona, United States, and home to the University of Arizona. The 2010 United States Census put the population at 520,116, while the 2015 estimated population of the entire Tucson Metropolitan Statistical Area MSA was 980,263. The Tucson MSA forms part of the larger Tucson Nogales Combined Statistical Area (CSA) with a total population of 1,010,025 as of the 2010 census. Tucson is the second largest populated city in Arizona behind Phoenix, both of which anchor the Arizona Sun Corridor. The city is 108 miles 174 kilometers southeast of Phoenix and 60 miles 97 kilometers north of the U.S.-Mexico border. Tucson is the 33rd largest city and the 58th largest metropolitan area in the United States 2014. Major incorporated suburbs of Tucson include Oro Valley and Marana northwest of the city, Sahuarita south of the city, and South Tucson in an enclave south of downtown. Communities in the vicinity of Tucson, some within Oro overlapping the city limits, include Casas Adobes, Catalina Foothills, Flowing Wells, Midvale Park, Tank Verde, Tortolita, and Vale. Towns outside the Tucson metro area include Benson to the southeast, Catalina and Oracle to the north, and Green Valley to the south. The Spanish name of the city, Tucson Tucson, is derived from the Oodum Cuk Sun meaning, at the base of the Black Hill, a reference to a basalt-covered hill now known as Sentinel Peak. Tucson is sometimes referred to as, the Old Pueblo. History The Tucson area was probably first visited by Paleo-Indians, who were known to have been in southern Arizona about 12,000 years ago. Recent archaeological excavations near the Santa Cruz River found a village site dating from 2100 BC. The floodplain of the Santa Cruz River was extensively farmed during the early agricultural period, circa 1200 BC to AD 150. These people constructed irrigation canals and grew corn, beans, and other crops, while also gathering wild plants and nuts, and hunting. The early ceramic period occupation of Tucson saw the first extensive use of pottery vessels for cooking and storage. The groups designated as the Hoakam lived in the area from AD 600 to 1450 and are known for their vast irrigation canal systems and their red on brown pottery. The Spanish Jesuit missionary Eusebio Francisco Quino first visited the Santa Cruz River Valley in 1692. He founded the Mission San Xavier del BAC in 1700, about 7 miles 11 kilometers upstream from the site of the settlement of Tucson. A separate convento settlement was founded downstream along the Santa Cruz River, near the base of what is now known as a mountain. Hugo O'Connor, the founding father of the city of Tucson, Arizona, authorized the construction of a military fort in that location, Presidio San Agustín del Tucson, on August 20, 1775. The present downtown Pima County Courthouse was built near this site. During the Spanish period of the Presidio, attacks such as the Second Battle of Tucson were repeatedly mounted by the Apache. Eventually the town came to be called Tucson, a Spanish version of the Oodum word for the area. It was included in the state of Sonora after Mexico gained independence from the Kingdom of Spain and its Spanish Empire in 1821. During the Mexican American War in 1846 to 1848, Tucson was captured by Philip St. George Cook with the Mormon Battalion, but it soon returned to Mexican control as Cook proceeded to the west, establishing Cook's Wagon Road to California. Tucson was not included in the Mexican cession to the United States following the war. Cook's Road through Tucson became one of the important routes into California during the California Gold Rush of 1849. The U.S. acquired Arizona, south of the Gila River, via treaty from Mexico in the Gadsden Purchase on June 8, 1854. Under this treaty and purchase, Tucson became a part of the United States of America. The American military did not formally take over control until March 1856. 
In time, the name of the town became anglicized in pronunciation, to its current form by English speakers, where the emphasis is on the first syllable and the C is silent. In 1857, Tucson was established as a stage station on the San Antonio-San Diego mail line. In 1858 it became third division headquarters of the Butterfield Overland Mail and operated until the line was shut down in March 1861. The Overland Mail Corporation attempted to continue running, however, following the Bascom Affair, devastating Apache attacks on the stations and coaches ended operations in August 1861. From August 1861 to mid 1862, Tucson served as the western capital of the Confederate Arizona Territory, the eastern capital being Mesilla, New Mexico. In 1862, the California Column drove the Confederate forces out of Arizona. Tucson and all of what is now Arizona were included within the U.S. New Mexico Territory until 1863, when they became part of the New Arizona Territory. From 1867 to 1877, Tucson was the capital of the Arizona Territory. Tucson was incorporated in 1877, making it the oldest incorporated city in Arizona. From 1877 to 1878, the area suffered a rash of stagecoach robberies. Most notable were the two holdups committed by masked road agent William Whitney Brazelton. Brazelton held up two stages in the summer of 1878 near Point of Mountain Station, approximately 17 miles 27 kilometers northwest of Tucson. John Clum, of Tombstone, Arizona fame, was one of the passengers. Pima County Sheriff Charles A. Shibble and his citizen posse killed Brazelton on August 19, 1878, in a mesquite bosque along the Santa Cruz River 3 miles 5 kilometers south of Tucson. Brazelton had been suspected of highway robbery in the Tucson area, the Prescott region, and the Silver City, New Mexico area. Because of the crimes and threats to his business, John J. Valentine Sr. of Wells, Fargo & Co., had sent Bob Paul, a special agent and a future Pima County Sheriff, to investigate. The U.S. Army established Fort Lowell, then east of Tucson, to help protect settlers and travelers from Apache attacks. In 1882, Morgan Earp was fatally shot, in what was later referred to in the press as the Earp Clanton tragedy. Marietta Spence, wife of Pete Spence, one of the Cochise County Cowboys, testified at the coroner's inquest on Earp's killing and implicated Frank Stilwell in the murder. The coroner's jury concluded that Pete Spence, Stilwell, Frederick Bode, and Florentino Indian Charlie Cruz were the prime suspects in the assassination of Morgan Earp. Deputy U.S. Marshal Wyatt Earp gathered a few trusted friends and accompanied Virgil Earp and his family as they traveled to Benson to take a train to California. They found Stilwell apparently lying in wait for Virgil Earp at the Tucson station and killed him on the tracks. After killing Stilwell, Wyatt deputized others and conducted a vendetta, killing three more cowboys over the next few days before leaving the state. As other settlers tried to overcome violent frontier society, in 1885 the state legislature founded the University of Arizona as a land-grant college on what was overgrazed ranch land between Tucson and Fort Lowell. In 1890, Asians made up 4.2% of the city's population. They were predominantly Chinese men who had been recruited as workers on the railroads. By 1900, 7,531 people lived in Tucson. By 1910, the population increased to 13,913. At about this time, the U.S. Veterans Administration had begun construction of the present Veterans Hospital. The city's clean, dry air made it a destination for the many veterans who had been gassed in World War I and needed respiratory therapy. In addition, these dry and high altitude conditions were thought to be ideal for the treatment of tuberculosis, for which there were no known cures before antibiotics were developed against it. The city continued to grow, with the population increasing to 20,292 in 1920 and 36,818 in 1940. 
In 2006, the population of Pima County, in which Tucson is located, passed 1 million, while the city of Tucson's population was 535,000. In 1912, Arizona was admitted as a state. This increased the number of flags that had been flown over Tucson to five Spanish, Mexican, United States, Confederate, and the state of Arizona. During the territorial and early statehood periods, Tucson was Arizona's largest city and commercial center, while Phoenix was the seat of state government beginning in 1889 and agriculture. The development of Tucson Municipal Airport increased the city's prominence. But between 1910 and 1920, Phoenix surpassed Tucson in population, and has continued to outpace Tucson in growth. In recent years, both Tucson and Phoenix have had some of the highest growth rates of any jurisdiction in the United States. Geography <inaudible> 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 According to the United States Census Bureau, as of 2010, the city of Tucson has a land area of 226.71 square miles (587.2 square kilometers). The city's elevation is 2,643 feet (806 meters) above sea level, as measured at the Tucson International Airport. Tucson is on an alluvial plain in the Sonoran Desert, surrounded by five minor ranges of mountains, the Santa Catalina Mountains and the Tortolita Mountains to the north, the Santa Rita Mountains to the south, the Rincon Mountains to the east, and the Tucson Mountains to the west. The high point of the Santa Catalina Mountains is 9,157 feet (2,791 meters) Mount Lemmon, the southernmost ski destination in the continental U.S., while the Tucson Mountains include 4,687 feet (1,429 meters) Wasson Peak. The highest point in the area is Mount Wrightson, found in the Santa Rita Mountains at 9,453 feet 2,881 meters above sea level. Tucson is 118 miles 190 kilometers southeast of Phoenix and 60 miles 97 kilometers north of the United States-Mexico border. The 2010 United States Census puts the city's population at 520,116 with a metropolitan area population at 980,263. In 2009, Tucson ranked as the 32nd largest city and 52nd largest metropolitan area in the United States. A major city in the Arizona Sun Corridor, Tucson is the largest city in southern Arizona, and the second largest in the state after Phoenix. It is also the largest city in the area of the historic Gadsden Purchase. As of 2015, the Greater Tucson metro area has exceeded a population of 1 million. The city is built along the Santa Cruz River, formerly a perennial river. Now a dry river bed for much of the year, it regularly floods during significant seasonal rains. Interstate 10 runs northwest through town, connecting Tucson to Phoenix in the northwest, on the way to its western terminus in Santa Monica, California, and to Las Cruces, New Mexico and El Paso, Texas in the southeast. Its eastern terminus is in Jacksonville, Florida. I-19 runs south from Tucson toward Nogales and the U.S.-Mexico border. I-19 is the only interstate highway that uses «kilometer posts» instead of «mile posts». Speed limits are marked in miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Neighborhoods <inaudible> 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 Topic: Downtown and Central Tucson. Similar to many other cities in the western U.S., Tucson was developed by European Americans on a grid plan starting in the late 19th century, with the city center at Stone Avenue and Broadway Boulevard. While this intersection was initially near the geographic center of Tucson, that center has shifted as the city has expanded far to the east. Development to the west was effectively blocked by the Tucson Mountains. Covering a large geographic area, Tucson has many distinct neighborhoods. 
Tucson's earliest neighborhoods, some of which were redeveloped and covered by the Tucson Convention Center (TCC), include El Presidio, Tucson's oldest neighborhood, Barrio Historico, also known as Barrio Libre, Armory Park, directly south of downtown. Barrio Anita, named for an early settler and located between Granada Avenue and Interstate 10. Barrio Tiburon, now known as the 4th Avenue Arts District, was designated in territorial times as a red light district. Barrio El Jardin, named for an early recreational site, Levens Gardens. Barrio El Hoyo, named for a lake that was part of the gardens. Before the convention center was built, the term El Hoyo, Spanish for pit or hole, referred to this part of the city. Residents were mostly Mexican-American citizens and Mexican immigrants. Barrio Santa Rosa, dating from the 1890s, is now listed as a historic district on the National Register of Historic Places. Other historical neighborhoods near downtown include Feldman's, named for an early resident photographer with the streets Helen and Mabel, named for his daughters. Menlo Park, situated west of downtown, adjacent to Sentinel Peak Iron Horse, east of 4th Avenue and north of the railroad tracks, named for its proximity to the railroad, informally known by that term West University, between the University of Arizona and downtown Dunbar Spring, west of West University Pi Allen, west and south of the university near Tucson High School and named for John Brackett Pi. Allen, a local entrepreneur and early mayor of Tucson Sam Hughes, east of the University of Arizona, named after a European-American pioneer in Tucson At the end of the first decade of the 21st century, city planners and the business community worked at redeveloping the downtown. The primary project was Rio Nuevo, a large retail and community center that had been stalled in planning for more than 10 years. Downtown is generally regarded as the area bordered by 17th Street to the south, I-10 to the west, and 6th Street to the north, and Toole Avenue and the Union Pacific, formerly Southern Pacific railroad tracks, site of the historic train depot on the east side. Downtown is divided into the Presidio District, the Barrio Viejo, and the Congress Street Arts and Entertainment District. Some authorities include the 4th Avenue Shopping District, northeast of the rest of downtown and connected by an underpass beneath the UPRR tracks. Historic attractions downtown with rich architecture include the Hotel Congress designed in 1919, the Art Deco Fox Theatre designed in 1929, the Rialto Theatre opened in 1920, and St. Augustine Cathedral completed in 1896. Included on the National Register of Historic Places is the old Pima County Courthouse, designed by Roy Place in 1928. The El Charo Café, Tucson's oldest restaurant, operates its main location downtown. As one of the oldest parts of town, central Tucson is anchored by the Broadway Village Shopping Center. The shopping center was designed by local architect Yossius Josler and is located at the intersection of Broadway Boulevard and Country Club Road. The 4th Avenue shopping district between downtown, the University, and the Lost Barrio just east of downtown, also has many unique and popular stores. Local retail business in central Tucson is densely concentrated along 4th Avenue and the main gate square on University Boulevard near the UA campus. The El Con Mall is also in the eastern part of Midtown. The University of Arizona, chartered in 1885, is in Midtown and includes Arizona Stadium and McHale Center, named for J.F. Pop. McHale, the historic Tucson High School, designed by Roy Place in 1924, was featured in the 1987 film Can't Buy Me Love. The Arizona Inn, built in 1930, and the Tucson Botanical Gardens are also in central Tucson. Tucson's largest park, Reed Park, is in Midtown and includes Reed Park Zoo and High Corbett Field. Speedway Boulevard, a major east-west arterial road in central Tucson, was named the "...ugliest street in America," by Life magazine in the early 1970s, quoting Tucson Mayor James Corbett. In the late 1990s Speedway Boulevard was awarded, "...street of the year," by Arizona Highways. 
According to David Layton, historical writer for the Arizona Daily Star newspaper, Speedway Boulevard was named after an historic horse race track, known as the Harlem River Speedway, and more commonly called the Speedway in New York City. The Tucson Street was called the Speedway from 1904 to about 1906, when the was removed from the title. In the early 21st century, central Tucson is considered bicycle friendly. To the east of the University of Arizona, 3rd Street is bike only except for local traffic, it passes by the historic homes of the Sam Hughes neighborhood. To the west, E University Boulevard leads to the 4th Avenue shopping district. To the north, N Mountain Avenue has a full bike only lane for half of the 3.5 miles to the Rilito River Park bike and walk multi use path. To the south, N Highland Avenue leads to the Barraza Aviation Parkway bicycle path. <laughs> Southern Tucson South Tucson is the name of an independent, incorporated town of 1 square mile 2.6 square kilometers, south of downtown, and which is completely surrounded by the city of Tucson. South Tucson has a colorful, dynamic history. It was first incorporated in 1936, and later reincorporated in 1940. The population is about 83% Mexican American and 10% Native American, as residents self identify in the census. South Tucson is widely known for its many Mexican restaurants and architectural styles. Bright murals have been painted on some walls, but city policy discourages this and many have been painted over. The south side of the city of Tucson is generally considered to be the area of approximately 25 square miles, 65 square kilometers south of 22nd Street, east of I-19, west of Davis Munthan Air Force Base and southwest of Aviation Parkway and north of Los Reels Road. The Tucson International Airport and Tucson Electric Park are located here. Topic Western Tucson The west side has areas of both urban and suburban development. It is generally defined as the area west of I-10. Western Tucson encompasses the banks of the Santa Cruz River and the foothills of the Tucson Mountains. Area attractions include the International Wildlife Museum and Sentinel Peak. The Marriott Star Pass Resort and Spa serves travelers and residents. As travelers pass the Tucson Mountains, they enter the area commonly referred to as West of Tucson or Old West Tucson. In this large, undulating plain extending south into the Alta Valley, rural residential development predominates. Attractions include Saguaro National Park West, the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, and movie set theme park developed at the Old Tucson Studios. On Sentinel Peak, just west of downtown, a giant A was installed in honor of the University of Arizona, resulting in the nickname A Mountain. Starting in about 1916, an annual tradition developed for freshmen to whitewash the A, which was visible for miles. The top of Sentinel Peak, which is accessible by road, offers an outstanding view of the city looking eastward. A parking lot near the summit of Sentinel Peak has been a popular place to watch sunsets or view the city lights at night. At the beginning of the Iraq War in 2003, anti-war activists painted the A black. Competition ensued, with various sides repainting the A in different colors until the city council intervened. It is now painted red, white and blue, after the U.S. flag. Another color may be decided by a biennial election. With the tri-color scheme, some observers complain that the shape of the A is hard to distinguish from the background of the peak. Topic Northern Tucson North Tucson includes the urban neighborhoods of Amphitheater and Flowing Wells. Usually considered the area north of Fort Lowell Road, North Tucson includes some of Tucson's primary commercial zones Tucson Mall and the Oracle Road Corridor. Many of the city's most upscale boutiques, restaurants, and art galleries are also on the north side, including St. Philip's Plaza. The plaza is directly adjacent to the historic St. Philip's in the Hills Episcopal Church, built in 1936. Also on the north side is the suburban community of Catalina Foothills, located in the foothills of the Santa Catalina Mountains just north of the city limits. 
This community includes among the area's most expensive homes, sometimes multi-million dollar estates. The Foothills area is generally defined as north of River Road, east of Oracle Road and west of Sabino Creek. Some of the Tucson area's major resorts are in the Catalina Foothills, including the Hacienda del Sol, Western La Paloma Resort, Los Ventana Canyon Resort and Canyon Ranch Resort. La Encantada, an upscale outdoor shopping mall, is also in the foothills. The De Grazia Gallery of the Sun is near the intersection of Swan Road and Skyline Drive. Built by artist Ted de Grazia starting in 1951, the 10-acre property is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and features an eclectic chapel, an art gallery, and a free museum. The expansive area northwest of the city limits is diverse, ranging from the rural communities of Catalina and parts of the town of Marana, the small suburb of Picture Rocks, the affluent town of Oro Valley in the western foothills of the Santa Catalina Mountains, and residential areas in the northeastern foothills of the Tucson Mountains. Continental Ranch, Marana, Dove Mountain, Marana, and Rancho Vistoso, Oro Valley, are all masterplanned communities in the northwest that have thousands of residents. The community of Casas Adobes is also on the northwest side, with the distinction of being Tucson's first suburb, established in the late 1940s. Casas Adobes is centered on the historic Casas Adobes Plaza, built in 1948. Casas Adobes is also home to Tohono Chol Park, which is now within the town of Oro Valley, a nature preserve near the intersection of North Oracle Road and West Ina Road. The attempted assassination of Representative Gabrielle Giffords, and the murders of Chief Judge for the U.S. District Court for Arizona, John Roll and five other people on January 8, 2011, occurred at the La Toscana Village in Casas Adobes. The Foothills Mall is also on the northwest side in Casas Adobes. Many of the Tucson area's golf courses and resorts are in this area, including the Preserve and Mountain View Golf Clubs at Saddlebrick, Hilton El Conquistador Golf and Tennis Resort in Oro Valley, the Omni Tucson National Resort and Spa, and Westward Look Resort. The Ritz-Carlton at Dove Mountain, the second Ritz-Carlton Resort in Arizona, which also includes a golf course, opened in the foothills of the Tortolita Mountains in northeast Marana in 2009. Catalina State Park and Tortolita Mountain Park are also in the northwest area. Eastern Tucson East Tucson is relatively new compared to other parts of the city, developed between the 1950s and the 1970s, with developments such as Desert Palms Park. It is generally classified as the area of the city east of Swan Road, with above-average real estate values relative to the rest of the city. The area includes urban and suburban development near the Rincon Mountains. East Tucson includes Saguaro National Park East. Tucson's Restaurant Row is also on the east side, along with a significant corporate and financial presence. Restaurant Row is sandwiched by three of Tucson's storied neighborhoods, Harold Bell Wright Estates, named after the famous Authors Ranch which occupied some of that area before the Depression, the Tucson Country Club, the third to bear the name Tucson Country Club, and the Dorado Country Club. Tucson's largest office building is 5151 East Broadway in East Tucson, completed in 1975. The first phases of Williams Center, a mixed-use, master-planned development on Broadway near Craycroft Road, were opened in 1987. Park Place, a recently renovated shopping center, is also along Broadway, west of Wilmot Road. Near the intersection of Craycroft and Feet. Lowell Roads are the remnants of the historic Fort Lowell. This area has become one of Tucson's iconic neighborhoods. In 1891, the fort was abandoned and much of the interior was stripped of their useful components and it quickly fell into ruin. In 1900, three of the officer buildings were purchased for use as a sanitarium. The sanitarium was then sold to Harvey Adkins in 1928. The Bolsius family Pete, Nan and Charles Bolsius purchased and renovated surviving adobe buildings of the fort, transforming them into spectacular artistic southwestern architectural examples. 
Their woodwork, plaster treatment and sense of proportion drew on their Dutch heritage and new Mexican experience. Other artists and academics throughout the middle of the 20th century, including, Gwyn Ellis, Jack Maul, Madame Germaine Cherai and René Cherai, Giorgio Belloli, Charles Bode, Veronica Hewitt, Edward H. Spicer and Rosamund Spicer, Hazel Larson Archer and Ruth Brown, renovated adobes, built homes and lived in the area. The artist colony attracted writers and poets including Beat Generation Alan Harrington and Jack Kerouac whose visit is documented in his iconic book On the Road. This rural pocket in the middle of the city is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Each year in February the neighborhood celebrates its history in the city landmark it owns and restored the San Pedro Chapel. Situated between the Santa Catalina Mountains and the Rincon Mountains near Reddington Pass northeast of the city limits is the affluent community of Tank Verde. The Arizona National Golf Club, 49ers Country Club, and the historic Tank Verde Guest Ranch are also in northeast Tucson. Southeast Tucson continues to experience rapid residential development. The area includes Davis Munthan Air Force Base. The area is considered to be south of Golf Links Road. It is the home of Santa Rita High School, Chuck Ford Park, Lakeside Park, Lakeside Lake, Lincoln Park, Upper and Lower, the Lakecrest Neighborhoods, and Pima Community College East Campus. The Atterbury Wash with its access to excellent birdwatching is also in the southeast Tucson area. The suburban community of Rita Ranch houses many of the military families from Davis Munthen, and is near the southeasternmost expansion of the current city limits. Close by Rita Ranch and also within the city limits lies Sivano, a planned development meant to showcase ecologically sound building practices and lifestyles. <laughs> Mount Lemon Mount Lemmon, the highest peak of the Santa Catalina Mountains, reaches an elevation of 9,157 feet meters above sea level. The mountain is named after 19th-century botanist Sara Lemmon. She was the first documented European woman to ascend to the peak, accompanied by her husband and by local rancher Emerson Oliver Stratton. The lemons botanized extensively along the way, including collecting the plant Tagetes lemoni which is now called the Mount Lemon Marigold. Catalina Highway stretches 25 miles 40 km and the entire mountain range is one of Tucson's most popular vacation spots for cycling, hiking, rock climbing, camping, birding, and wintertime snowboarding and skiing. Near the top of Mount Lemon is the town of Summerhaven. In Summerhaven, visitors will find log houses and cabins, a general store, and various shops, as well as numerous hiking trails. Near Summerhaven is the road to Ski Valley which hosts a ski lift, several runs, a gift shop, and nearby restaurant. Mount Lemon Sky Center, which is at a Stewart Observatory site known as Sky Island, sits 9,152 feet meters in altitude on the summit of Mount Lemon. As one of the southwestern United States' 27 unique sky islands, this science learning facility is open to the public. Climate Tucson has a hot steppe climate with two major seasons, a very hot summer and mild winter. Tucson averages 11.8 inches of precipitation per year, concentrated mostly in the summer monsoon season and winter wet season with little rainfall in fall and especially spring. Summer is characterized by daytime temperatures of over 100 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius and overnight temperatures between 66 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit and 29 degrees Celsius. Early summer is characterized by low humidity and clear skies, midsummer and late summer are characterized by higher humidity, cloudy skies and frequent rain. The sun is intense in Tucson during part of the year, and significant protection is needed for those who spend time outdoors. Recent studies show the rate of skin cancer in Arizona is at least three times higher than in more northerly regions. 
Additional intense heating is a risk to hikers and others who seek to hike canyons and exposed areas. The monsoon season typically begins from early July to late July, with an average start date around July 3. It typically continues through August and sometimes into September. During the monsoon, the humidity is much higher than the rest of the year. It begins with clouds building up from the south in the early afternoon followed by intense thunderstorms and rainfall, which can cause flash floods. The evening sky at this time of year is often pierced with dramatic lightning strikes. Large areas of the city do not have storm sewers, so monsoon rains flood the main thoroughfares, usually for no longer than a few hours. A few underpasses in Tucson have feet of water. Scales painted on their supports to discourage fording by automobiles during a rainstorm. Arizona Traffic Code Title 28-910, the so-called, "...stupid motorist law", was instituted in 1995 to discourage people from entering flooded roadways. If the road is flooded and a barricade is in place, motorists who drive around the barricade can be charged up to $2,000 for costs involved in rescuing them. Despite all warnings and precautions, however, three Tucson drivers have drowned between 2004 and 2010. The weather in the fall is much like spring, dry, with warm, cool nights and warm, hot days. Temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius are possible into early October. Temperatures decline at the quickest rate in October and November, and are normally the coolest in late December and early January. Winters in Tucson are mild relative to other parts of the United States. Daytime highs range between 64 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit 18 and 24 degrees Celsius, with overnight lows between 30 and 44 degrees Fahrenheit minus 1 and 7 degrees Celsius. Tucson typically averages one hard freeze per winter season, with temperatures dipping to the mid or low 20s minus 7 to minus 4 degrees Celsius, but this is typically limited to only a very few nights. Although rare, snow has fallen in Tucson, usually a light dusting that melts within a day. The most recent snowfall was on February 22, 2019 when 1 1.9 inches of snow fell in the city. This snow occurred only 52 days after the last snow, which occurred on January 2. Early spring is characterized by gradually rising temperatures and several weeks of vivid wildflower blooms beginning in late February and into March. During this time of year the diurnal temperature variation normally attains its maximum, often surpassing 30 degrees Fahrenheit at the University of Arizona, where records have been kept since 1894, the record maximum temperature was 115 degrees Fahrenheit (46 degrees Celsius) on June 19, 1960, and July 28, 1995, and the record minimum temperature was 6 degrees Fahrenheit (-14 degrees Celsius) on January 7, 1913. There are an average of 150.1 days annually with highs of 90 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius or higher and an average of 26.4 days with lows reaching or below the freezing mark. Average annual precipitation is 11.15 in 283 mm. There is an average of 49 days with measurable precipitation. The wettest year was 1905 with 24.17 in 614 mm and the driest year was 1924 with 5.07 in 129 mm. The most precipitation in one month was 7.56 in 192 mm in July 1984. The most precipitation in 24 hours was 4.16 in 106 mm on October 1, 1983. Annual snowfall averages 0.7 in 1.8 cm. The most snow in one year was 7.2 in 18 cm in 1987. The most snow in one month was 6.0 in 15 cm in January 1898 and March 1922. At the airport, where records have been kept since 1930, the record maximum temperature was 117 degrees Fahrenheit (47 degrees Celsius) on June 26, 1990, and the record minimum temperature was 16 degrees Fahrenheit (-9 degrees Celsius) on January 4, 1949. 
There is an average of 145.0 days annually with highs of 90 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius or higher and an average of 16.9 days with lows reaching or below the freezing mark. Measurable precipitation falls on an average of 53 days. The wettest year was 1983 with 21.86 in 555 mm of precipitation, and the driest year was 1953 with 5.34 in 136 mm. The most rainfall in one month was 7.93 in 201 mm in August 1955. The most rainfall in 24 hours was 3.93 in 100 mm on July 29, 1958. Snow at the airport averages only 1.1 in 2.8 cm annually. The most snow received in one year was 8.3 in 21 cm and the most snow in one month was 6.8 in 17 cm in December 1971. topic demographics According to the 2010 American Census Bureau the racial composition of Tucson was as follows Non-Hispanic white 47.2% Black or African American 5.0% Native American 2.7% Asian 2.9% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 0.2%, Other race, 17.8%, Two or more races, 3.4%, Hispanic or Latino, 41.6%. Mexican Americans made up 36.1% of the city's population. As of the census of 2010, there were 520,116 people, 229,762 households, and 112,455 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,500.1 inhabitants per square mile, 965.3 per square kilometers. There were 209,609 housing units at an average density of 1,076.7 per square miles, 415.7 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 69.7% white, down from 94.8% in 1970, 5.0% black or African American, 2.7% Native American, 2.9% Asian, 0.2% Pacific Islander, 16.9% from other races, and 3.8% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 41.6% of the population. Non-Hispanic whites were 47.2% of the population in 2010, down from 72.8% in 1970. There were 192,891 households out of which 29.0% had children under the age of 18 living with them. 39.7% were married couples living together. 13.8% had a female householder with no husband present and 41.7% were non-families. 32.3% of all households were made up of individuals and 9.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.42 and the average family size was 3.12. In the inner city, the population has 24.6% under the age of 18, 13.8% from 18 to 24, 30.5% from 25 to 44, 19.2% from 45 to 64, and 11.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 32 years. For every 100 females, there were 96.0 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 93.3 males. The median income for a household in the city was $30,981, and the median income for a family was $37,344. Males had a median income of $28,548 versus $23,086 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,322.
About 13.7% of families and 18.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 23.6% of those under age 18 and 11.0% of those age 65 or over. Economy Much of Tucson's economic development has been centered on the development of the University of Arizona, which is currently the second largest employer in the city. Davis Munthan Air Force Base, on the city's southeastern edge, also provides many jobs for Tucson residents. Its presence, as well as the presence of the U.S. Army Intelligence Center, Fort Huachuca, the largest employer in the region in nearby Sierra Vista, has led to the development of many high-tech industries, including government contractors, in the area. The city of Tucson is also a major hub for the Union Pacific Railroad sunset route that links the Los Angeles ports with the south-southeast regions of the country. Raytheon Missile Systems, formerly Hughes Aircraft Co., Texas Instruments, IBM, Intuit Inc., Universal Avionics, Honeywell Aerospace, Sunquest Information Systems, Sanofi Aventis, Ventana Medical Systems, Inc., and Bombardier Aerospace all have a significant presence in Tucson. Roughly 150 Tucson companies are involved in the design and manufacture of optics and optoelectronics systems, earning Tucson the nickname, Optics Valley. Tourism is another major industry in Tucson, bringing in $2 billion per year and over 3.5 million visitors annually due to Tucson's numerous resorts, hotels, and attractions. One of the major annual attractions is the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, and its associated shows, all held generally in the first two weeks of February. These associated shows, such as gems, jewelry, beads, fossils, are held throughout the city, with 43 different shows in 2010. This makes Tucson's the largest such exposition in the world. In addition to vacationers, a significant number of winter residents, or snowbirds, are attracted to Tucson's mild winters and live here on a seasonal basis. They also contribute to the local economy. Snowbirds often purchase second homes in Tucson and nearby areas, contributing significantly to the property tax base. Topic. Top employers According to Tucson's 2016 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city are topic. Arts and culture topic. Annual cultural events and fairs Topic Tucson Gem and Mineral Show The Tucson Gem and Mineral Show is one of the largest gem and mineral shows in the world and has been held for over 50 years. The show is only one part of the gem, mineral, fossil, and bead gathering held all around Tucson in over 45 different sites. The various shows run from late January to mid-February with the official show lasting two weeks in February. Topic Tucson Festival of Books Since 2009, the Tucson Festival of Books has been held annually over a two-day period in March at the University of Arizona. By 2010 it had become the fourth largest book festival in the United States, with 450 authors and 80,000 attendees. In addition to readings and lectures, it features a science fair, varied entertainment, food, and exhibitors ranging from local retailers and publishers to regional and national nonprofit organizations. In 2011, the festival founders established an award to recognize exceptional literary achievement. The founders' award winners are 2011 Elmore Leonard, 2012 Larry McMurtry and Diana Osana, 2013 RL. Stein 2014 Richard Russo 2015 Mitch Album, Dave Barry, Sam Barry, Greg Isles, Ridley Pearson, Amy Tan and Scott Tarot The Rock Bottom Remainders 2016 J.A. Jantz 2017 T.C. Boyle 2018 Billy Collins Tucson Folk Festival 
For the past 33 years, the Tucson Folk Festival has taken place the first Saturday and Sunday of May in downtown Tucson's El Presidio Park. In addition to nationally known headline acts each evening, the festival highlights over 100 local and regional musicians on five stages is one of the largest free festivals in the country. All stages are within easy walking distance. Organized by the Tucson Kitchen Musicians Association, volunteers make this festival possible. KXCI 91.3 FM, Arizona's only community radio station, is a major partner, broadcasting from the plaza stage throughout the weekend. In addition, there are numerous workshops, events for children, sing alongs, and a popular singer songwriter contest. Musicians typically play 30 minute sets, supported by professional audio staff volunteers. A variety of food and crafts are available at the festival, as well as local micro brews. All proceeds from sales go to fund future festivals. Topic: Fourth Avenue Street Fair. There are two Fourth Avenue Street Fairs in December and late March, early April, staged between 9th Street and University Boulevard that feature arts and crafts booths, food vendors and street performers. The fairs began in 1970 when Fourth Avenue, which at the time had half a dozen thrift shops, several New Age bookshops and the Food Conspiracy Co-op, was a gathering place for hippies and a few merchants put tables in front of their stores to attract customers before the holidays. These days, the street fair has grown into a large corporate event, with most tables owned by outside merchants. It hosts mostly traveling craftsmen selling various arts such as pottery, paintings, woodworking, metal decorations, candles, and many others. The Tucson Rodeo Fiesta de los Vaqueros. Another popular event held in February, which is early spring in Tucson, is the Fiesta de los Vaqueros, or Rodeo Week, founded by winter visitor, Leighton Kramer. While at its heart the Fiesta is a sporting event, it includes what is billed as the world's largest non-mechanized parade. The Rodeo Parade is a popular event as most schools give two rodeo days off instead of President's Day. The exception to this is Presidio High, a non-public charter school, which doesn't get either. Western wear is seen throughout the city as corporate dress codes are cast aside during the fiesta. The Fiesta de los Vaqueros marks the beginning of the rodeo season in the United States. Topic: <laughs> Tucson Meet Yourself. Every October for the past 30 years, the Tucson Meet Yourself Festival has celebrated the city's many ethnic groups. For one weekend, dancing, singing, artwork, and food from more than 30 different ethnicities are featured in the downtown area. All performers are from Tucson and the surrounding area, in keeping with the idea of «meeting yourself». <laughs> Tucson Modernism Week. Since 2012, during the first two weekends of October, the Tucson Historic Preservation Foundation hosts Tucson Modernism Week. The event includes more than 30 programs including tours, lectures, exhibits, films and parties. The events are in mid-century modern buildings and neighborhoods throughout the city and has highlighted the work of significant architects and designers who contributed to the development and history of Southern Arizona including, architect Arthur Brown, fashion designer Dolores Gonzalez, architect Bob Swaim, architect Anne Risdale, textile designers Harwood and Sophie Steiger, architect Nick Sackler, architectural designer Tom Gist, furniture designer Max Gottschalk, architect Ned Nelson, landscape architect Kai Green, architect Juan Warner Baz and many others. Topic: All Souls Procession Weekend. The All Souls Procession, held in early November, is one of the largest festivals in Tucson. Modeled on the Mexican holiday Día de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, it combines aspects of many different cultural traditions. 
The first All Souls procession was organized by local artist Susan K. Johnson in 1990 and involved 35 participants. By 2013, participation was estimated at 50,000. The procession, held at sundown, consists of a non motorized parade through downtown Tucson featuring many floats, sculptures, and memorials, in which the community is encouraged to participate. The parade is followed by performances on an outdoor stage, culminating in the burning of an urn in which written prayers have been collected from participants and spectators. The event is organized and funded by the non-profit arts organization Many Mouths One Stomach, with the assistance of many volunteers and donations from the public and local businesses. Topic cultural and other attractions Cultural and other attractions include, Arizona Historical Society The Fremont House is an original adobe house in the Tucson Community Center that was saved while one of Tucson's earliest barrios was raised as urban renewal. Fort Lowell Museum Mission San Xavier del Bac Old Tucson Studios, built as a set for the movie Arizona, is a movie studio and theme park for classic westerns. The Tucson Museum of Art was established as part of an art school, the Art Center, which was founded by local Tucson artists including Rose Cabat. The University of Arizona Museum of Art includes works by Franz Klein, Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko as part of the Edward J. Gallagher Memorial Collection, a tribute to a young man who was killed in a boating accident. The museum also includes the Samuel H. Cress Collection of European works from the 14th to 19th centuries and the C. Leonard Pfeiffer Collection of American paintings. Center for Creative Photography, a leading museum with many works by major artists such as Ansel Adams and Edward Weston. International Wildlife Museum, which is 5 miles kilometers west of Interstate 10, maintains an exhibition of over 400 different mounted and prepared animal species hunted from around the globe. The De Grazia Gallery in the Sun is an iconic Tucson landmark in the foothills of the Santa Catalina Mountains. Arizona Sonora Desert Museum is a combined zoo, museum, and botanical garden, devoted to indigenous animals and plants of the Sonoran Desert. Titan Missile Museum is about 25 miles 40 kilometers south of the city on I-19. This is a Cold War-era Titan nuclear missile silo billed as the only remaining intact post-Cold War Titan missile silo turned tourist stop. Pima Air and Space Museum has a wide assortment of aircraft on display both indoors and outdoors. Pima County Fair Trail Dust Town is an outdoor shopping mall and restaurant complex that was built from the remains of a 1950 Western movie set. Museum of the Horse Soldier Jewish History Museum Tucson Centennial Hall opened in 1937 as the University of Arizona's campus auditorium, designed by architect Roy Place. Tucson Chinese Cultural Center Tucson Loop Shared Use Bike Path Arizona State Museum on the University of Arizona campus shops in Summerhaven on Mount Lemon offer such items as jewelry and other gifts, pizza, and fresh fruit pies. The legacy of the Aspen Fire can be seen in charred trees, rebuilt homes, and melted beads incorporated into a sidewalk. Fourth Avenue, near the University of Arizona, is home to many shops, restaurants, and bars, and hosts the annual Fourth Avenue Street Fair every December and March. University Boulevard, leading directly to the UA Main Gate, is also the center of numerous bars, retail shops, and restaurants most commonly frequented by the large student population of the UA. El Tiradito is a religious shrine in the downtown area. The shrine dates back to the early days of Tucson. It is based on a love story of revenge and murder. People stop by the shrine to light a candle for someone in need, a place for people to go give hope. The Biosphere 2 is a 3.14-acre educational facility, designed to mimic a tropical or sub-tropical climate-controlled environment. Literary arts The accomplished and awarded writers, poets, novelists, dramatists, nonfiction writers, who have lived in Tucson include Edward Abbey, Erskine Caldwell, Barbara Kingsolver and David Foster Wallace. Some were associated with the University of Arizona, but many were independent writers who chose to make Tucson their home. The city is particularly active in publishing and presenting contemporary innovative poetry in various ways. 
Examples are the Chax Press, a publisher of poetry books in trade and book arts editions, and the University of Arizona Poetry Center, which has a sizable poetry library and presents readings, conferences, and workshops. Topic: <laughs> Performing Arts. Theatre groups include the Arizona Theatre Company, which performs in the Temple of Music and Art, and Arizona On Stage Productions, a not-for-profit theatre company devoted to musical theatre. Broadway in Tucson presents the touring reproductions of many Broadway-style events. The Gaslight Theatre produces musical melodrama parodies in the Old Jerry Lewis Theatre and has been in Tucson since 1977. The Desert View Performing Arts Centre (DVPAC), a state-of-the-art theatre located in Saddlebrick, presents live performances from rock and roll to musicals and symphonies. Located at 39900 South Clubhouse Drive, Tucson, Arizona, 85739 Online information at https colon slash slash dvpack. Net Topic. Music Musical organizations include the Tucson Symphony Orchestra, founded in 1929, and Arizona Opera, founded as the Tucson Opera Company in 1971. The Tucson, Arizona Boys Chorus, founded in 1939 and performing a wide-ranging repertoire that incorporates rope tricks, has represented the city as ambassadors in Levi's at local, national, and international concerts. The Tucson Girls Chorus runs six choirs and numerous satellite choirs which perform locally, nationally, and internationally. Tucson is considered an influential center for mariachi music and is home to a large number of mariachi musicians and singers. The Tucson International Mariachi Conference, hosted annually since 1982, involves several hundred mariachi bands and folklorica dance troupes during a three day festival in April. The Norteno Festival and Street Fair in the Enclave City of South Tucson is held annually at the end of summer. Tucson is also known nationally for its punk scene. Since the late 1970s punk subculture has flourished in Tucson. At present there are multiple punk bars downtown and house venues in the surrounding neighborhoods. Prominent musical artists based in Tucson have included Linda Ronstadt, The Dusty Chaps, Howe Gelb, Bob Log 3, Calexico, Giant Sand, Hipster Daddy O and the Handgrenades, The Bled, Ramshackle Glory, and Tucson's official troubadour Ted Ramirez. The Tucson Area Music Awards, or TAMMIES, are an annual event. Cuisine. <coughs> 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 Tucson is well known for its Sonoran-style Mexican food. But since the turn of the century, ethnic restaurants and fine dining choices have proliferated. In 2015, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization (UNESCO) designated Tucson a world city of gastronomy under the Creative Cities Network program, becoming thus the first city of gastronomy in the United States. The Sonoran hot dog is very popular in Tucson. This is a hot dog wrapped in bacon and grilled, served on a bolio-style hot dog bun, and topped with pinto beans, onions, tomatoes, and a variety of additional condiments, often including mayonnaise, mustard, and jalapeno salsa. Nicknames Tucson is commonly known as the Old Pueblo. While the exact origin of this nickname is uncertain, it is commonly traced back to Mayor R. N. Bob Leatherwood. When rail service was established to the city on March 20, 1880, Leatherwood celebrated the fact by sending telegrams to various leaders, including the President of the United States and the Pope, announcing that the "...ancient and honorable Pueblo," of Tucson was now connected by rail to the outside world. The term became popular with newspaper writers who often abbreviated it as A. and H. Pueblo. This in turn transformed into the current form of the Old Pueblo. In the early 1980s, city leaders ran a contest searching for a new nickname. The winning entry was the Sunshine Factory. 
The new nickname never gained popular acceptance, allowing the old name to remain in common use. Tucson was dubbed, "...Optics Valley." In 1992 when Business Week ran a cover story on the Arizona Optics Industry Association. Sports Tucson is not represented in any of the four major sports leagues of the United States, the NFL, MLB, the NBA, or the NHL. The University of Arizona Wildcats teams, most notably the men's basketball and women's softball teams have strong local interest. The men's basketball team, formerly coached by Hall of Fame head coach Lute Olsen and currently coached by Sean Miller, has made 25 straight NCAA tournaments and won the 1997 National Championship. Arizona's softball team has reached the NCAA National Championship game 12 times and has won 8 times, most recently in 2007. The men's baseball team has won NCAA National Championships in 1976, 1980, 1986 and 2012. The university's swim teams have gained international recognition, with swimmers coming from as far as Japan and Africa to train with the coach Frank Bush who has also worked with the U.S. Olympic swim team for a number of years. Both men's and women's swim teams won the 2008 NCAA National Championships. The Tucson Saguaros of the Independent Picos League started play in 2016 and play at Cherry Field. They won the league in their inaugural season. The Tucson Padres played at Kino Veterans Memorial Stadium from 2011 to 2013. They served as the AAA affiliate of the San Diego Padres. The team, formerly known as the Portland Beavers, temporarily moved to Tucson from Portland while the team awaited a new stadium in Escondido. Legal issues derailed the plans to build the Escondido Stadium, so they moved to El Paso, Texas for the 2014 season. Previously, the Tucson Sidewinders, a AAA affiliate of the Arizona Diamondbacks, won the Pacific Coast League Championship and unofficial AAA Championship in 2006. The Sidewinders played in Tucson Electric Park and were in the Pacific Conference south of the PCL. The Sidewinders were sold in 2007 and moved to Reno, Nevada after the 2008 season. They now compete as the Reno Aces. The Springfield Falcons of the American Hockey League moved to Tucson following the 2015–2016 season to become the Tucson Roadrunners. They play in the AHL's Pacific Division, and are affiliated with the Arizona Coyotes. Tucson is also host to the Mobile Mini Sun Cup, the largest preseason Major League Soccer MLS tournament in the country. As many as 11 MLS soccer clubs train in Tucson every winter. Tucson is also host to FC Tucson, a professional soccer club that currently plays in the third tier USL League One and is affiliated with second tier USL Championship side Phoenix Rising FC. The United States Handball Association Hall of Fame is in Tucson. The Tucson Monsoon, a full contact women's football team, is a member of the Independent Women's Football League where they have played since their inception in 2006. In 2009, the Arizona She Devils also played women's football in Tucson as an expansion team of the Women's Football Alliance. Tracks include Tucson Raceway Park and Rilito Downs. Tucson Raceway Park hosts NASCAR sanctioned auto racing events and is one of only two asphalt short tracks in Arizona. Rilito Downs is an in town destination on weekends in January and February each year. This historic track held the first organized quarter horse races in the world, and they are still racing there. The racetrack is threatened by development. The Moltaqua Racetrack, was another historic horse racetrack on what is now Sabino Canyon Road and Vacta Ranch Trail, but it no longer exists. In 2018, the Indoor Football League announced they were bringing an expansion team to Tucson to play at the Tucson Convention Center's newly renovated Tucson Arena. That team would be announced as the Tucson Sugar Skulls. Topic: Parks and Recreation. The city has more than 120 parks from small and local to larger parks with ball fields, natural areas, lakes, five public golf courses and Reed Park Zoo. The Loop 
is a popular system of walking, running, bicycling, horseback trails encircling the city primarily along washes, and it is usually well separated from traffic. Several scenic parks and points of interest are also nearby, including the Tucson Botanical Gardens, Tohono Chol Park, Saguaro National Park, Sabino Canyon, and Biosphere 2, just north of the city, near the town of Oracle. Mount Lemmon is 25 miles 40 km north by road, and over 6,700 feet 2, meters above Tucson in the Santa Catalina Mountains in the Coronado National Forest. Outdoor activities in the Catalinas include hiking, mountain biking, birding, rock climbing, picnicking, camping, swimming in mountain stream pools, sky rides at Ski Valley, fishing and photography. In winter with enough snow the sky ride converts back to skiing at the southernmost ski resort in the continental United States. Summerhaven, a community near the top of Mount Lemmon, is also a popular destination. The League of American Bicyclists gave Tucson a gold rating for bicycle friendliness in late April 2007. Tucson hosts the largest perimeter cycling event in the United States. The ride called, El Tour de Tucson, happens in November on the Saturday before Thanksgiving. El Tour de Tucson produced and promoted by Perimeter Bicycling has as many as 10,000 participants from all over the world, annually. Tucson is one of only nine cities in the U.S. to receive a gold rating or higher for cycling friendliness from the League of American Bicyclists. The city is known for its winter cycling opportunities, with teams and riders from around the world spending a portion of the year training in Tucson's year-round biking climate. Popular mountain biking areas include Tucson Mountain Park, Sweetwater Preserve, the Tortolita Mountain Trail Systems, and Fantasy Island. Road cyclists take on Catalina Highway's steep climb year-round. Politics and government Pima County supported John Kerry 53% to 47% in the 2004 U.S. presidential election, and Barack Obama 54% to 46% in the 2008 U.S. presidential election. In the latter year, Pima was the only county to vote against Arizona's gay marriage ban. In 2013, Tucson became the second city in Arizona to approve of civil unions for same-sex partners. The city was the first in the state to pass a domestic partnership registry earlier in 2003. In general, Tucson and Pima County support the Democratic Party, as opposed the state's largest metropolitan area, Phoenix, which usually supports the Republican Party. Congressional redistricting in 2013, following the publication of the 2010 census, divided the Tucson area into three federal congressional districts the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of Arizona. The city center is in the 3rd district, represented by Raul Grijalva, a Democrat, since 2003, while the more affluent residential areas to the south and east are in the 2nd district, represented by Democrat Ann Kirkpatrick since 2019, and the exurbs north and west between Tucson and Phoenix in the 1st district are represented by Democrat Tom O'Halloran since 2016. The United States Postal Service operates post offices in Tucson. The Tucson main post office is at 1501 South Cherry Bell Stravenue. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> City government. Tucson follows the weak mayor model of the council manager form of local government. The six-member city council holds exclusive legislative authority, and shares executive authority with the mayor, who is elected by the voters independently of the council. An appointed city manager is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the city. Tucson is the only city in Arizona that holds officially partisan elections for city offices, with candidates being nominated through party primaries. Both the council members and the mayor serve four year terms, none face term limits. Council members are nominated by their wards via a ward level primary held in August. The top vote earners from each party then compete at large for their ward's seat on the November ballot. In other words, on election day the whole city votes on all the council races up for that year. 
Council elections are severed wards 1, 2, and 4 as well as a mayor are up for election in the same year most recently 2015, while wards 3, 5, and 6 share another year most recently 2017. Tucson is known for being a trailblazer in voluntary partial publicly financed campaigns. Since 1985, both mayoral and council candidates have been eligible to receive matching public funds from the city. To become eligible, council candidates must receive 200 donations of $10 or more 300 for a mayoral candidate. Candidates must then agree to spending limits equal to 33 for every registered Tucson voter, or $79,222 in 2005 the corresponding figures for mayor are 64 per registered voter, or $142,271 in 2003. In return, candidates receive matching funds from the city at a one-to-one -one ratio of public money to private donations. The only other limitation is that candidates may not exceed 75% of the limit by the date of the primary. Many cities, such as San Francisco and New York City, have copied this system, albeit with more complex spending and matching formulas. Mayor Jonathan Rothschild D. was sworn into office on December 5, 2011, succeeding Robert E. Walkup R., who took office in 1999. Walkup was preceded by George Miller, D. 1991–1999, Tom Volby, D. 1987–1991, Lou Murphy, R. 1971–1987, and Jim Corbett, D. 1967–1971. Education <inaudible> 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 Post-secondary education University of Arizona, established in 1885, the second largest university in the state in terms of enrollment with over 36,000 students. Pima Community College has 10 campuses. Arizona State University's College of Public Service and Community Solutions has conferred Bachelor of Social Work BSW and Master of Social Work MSW degrees for more than 30 years through its School of Social Work Tucson component. Tucson College has one Tucson campus. Brookline College has one Tucson campus. University of Phoenix has four Tucson campuses. Prescott College has a Tucson branch campus. Northern Arizona University has a Tucson branch campus. Arizona School of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine The Art Center Design College has two Tucson campuses. Wayland Baptist University has one Tucson campus. <laughs> Primary and secondary schools Primarily, students of the Tucson area attend public schools in the Tucson Unified School District TUSD. TUSD has the second highest enrollment of any school district in Arizona, behind Mesa Unified School District in the Phoenix metropolitan area. There are also many publicly funded charter schools with a specialized curriculum. In 1956, Tucson High School had the largest enrollment of any secondary school in the United States, with a total of more than 6,800 students. The facility operated on a two shift basis while construction went on for two other high schools that opened within a year to educate children in the rapidly booming Tucson population. topic media topic printed newspaper Tucson has one daily newspaper the morning Arizona Daily Star Wick Communications publishes the daily legal paper The Daily Territorial, while Boulder Colorado based 1013th Communications publishes Tucson Weekly an alternative Publication, Inside Tucson Business and the Explorer. TucsonSentinel.com is a non-profit independent online news organization. Tucson Lifestyle Magazine, Love and Life in Tucson, Dessert Leaf, and Zocalo Magazine are monthly publications covering arts, architecture, decor, fashion, entertainment, business, history, and other events. 
The Arizona Daily Wildcat is the University of Arizona's student newspaper, and the Aztec News is the Pima Community College student newspaper. Catholic Outlook is the newspaper for the Roman Catholic Diocese of Tucson, and the Arizona Jewish Post is the newspaper of the Jewish Federation of Southern Arizona. Topic: Television. The Tucson metro area is served by many local television stations and is the 65th largest designated market area DMA in the US with 433,330 homes, 0.39% of the total US. It is limited to the three counties of southeastern Arizona, Pima, Santa Cruz, and Cochise. The major television networks serving Tucson are KVOA4 NBC KUATTV6 is a PBS affiliate run by the University of Arizona as is sister station KUAS27. KGUN9 ABC KMSBTV11 Fox KOLDTV13 CBS KUDFLP14 Azteca KTTUA18 My Network TV KPCELP 29 Daystar KHRR TV 40 Telemundo KUVEDT 46 Univision KWBA TV 58 CW Topic Infrastructure Topic Energy Tucson's primary electrical power source is a coal and natural gas power plant managed by Tucson Electric Power that is situated within the city limits on the southwestern boundary of Davis Munthan Air Force Base adjacent to Interstate 10. The air pollution generated has raised some concerns as the Sund operating station has been online since 1962 and is exempt from many pollution standards and controls due to its age. Solar has been gaining ground in Tucson with its ideal over 300 days of sunshine climate. Federal, state, and even local utility credits and incentives have also enticed residents to equip homes with solar systems. Davis Munthan AFB has a 3.3 MW MW ground mounted solar photovoltaic PV array and a 2.7 MW rooftop mounted PV array, both of which are in the base housing area. The base will soon have the largest solar generating capacity in the United States Department of Defense after awarding a contract on September 10, 2010, to SunEdison to construct a 14.5 MW PV field on the northwestern side of the base. Global Solar Energy, which is at the University of Arizona's Science and Technology Park, is one of the planet's largest SIGS solar fields at 750 kW. Topic. Sustainability The biggest sustainability problem in Tucson, with its high desert climate, is potable water supply. The state manages all water in Arizona through its Arizona Department of Water Resources The primary consumer of water is agriculture including golf courses, which consumes about 69% of all water. Municipal which includes residential use accounts for about 25% of use. Energy consumption and availability is another sustainability issue. However, with over 300 days of full sun a year, Tucson has demonstrated its potential to be an ideal solar energy producer. <laughs> Light pollution Tucson and Pima County adopted dark sky ordinances to control light pollution in support of the region's astronomical observatories in 1972. Last amended in 2012, the city of Tucson, Pima County Outdoor Lighting Code establishes maximum illumination levels, shielding requirements, and limits on signage in continuing support of astronomical activity and minimizing wasted energy, while not compromising the safety, security, and well-being of persons engaged in outdoor nighttime activities.
Topic: Water. Less than 100 years ago, the Santa Cruz River flowed nearly year-round through Tucson. This supply of water has slowly disappeared, causing Tucson to seek alternative sources. In 1881, water was pumped from a well on the banks of the Santa Cruz River and flowed by gravity through pipes into the distribution system. Tucson currently draws water from two main sources: Central Arizona Project Cap Water and Groundwater. In 1992, Tucson Water delivered cap water to some customers that was referred to as being unacceptable due to discoloration, bad odor and flavor, as well as problems it caused some customers plumbing and appliances. Tucson's city water currently consists of cap water mixed with groundwater. In an effort to conserve water, Tucson is recharging groundwater supplies by running part of its share of cap water into various open portions of local rivers to seep into their aquifer. Additional study is scheduled to determine how much water is lost through evaporation from the open areas, especially during the summer. The city of Tucson provides reclaimed water to its inhabitants, but it is only used for applications such as irrigation, dust control, and industrial uses. These resources have been in place for more than 27 years, and deliver to over 900 locations. To prevent further loss of groundwater, Tucson has been involved in water conservation and groundwater preservation efforts, shifting away from its reliance on a series of Tucson area wells in favor of conservation, consumption based pricing for residential and commercial water use, and new wells in the more sustainable Avra Valley Aquifer, northwest of the city. An allocation from the Central Arizona Project Aqueduct Cap, which passes more than 300 miles 480 kilometers across the desert from the Colorado River, has been incorporated into the city's water supply, annually providing over 20 million gallons of «recharged» water which is pumped into the ground to replenish water pumped out. Since 2001, Cap Water has allowed the city to remove or turn off over 80 wells. topic transportation topic public transit Tucson SunTran bus system serves Greater Tucson with standard express regional shuttle and on-demand shuttle bus service It was awarded best transit system in 1988 and 2005 a 3.9-mile streetcar line, Sun Link, connects the University of Arizona campus with 4th Avenue, downtown, and the Mikado District west of Interstate 10 and the Santa Cruz River. 10-minute headway passenger service began July 25, 2014. The streetcar uses Sun Trans card payment and transfer system, connecting with the University of Arizona's Catherine Shuttles, Amtrak, and Greyhound Intercity bus service. Topic. Rail Amtrak, the national passenger rail system, provides service to Tucson three times weekly in both directions, operating at Sunset Limited between Los Angeles, California and New Orleans, Louisiana, and Texas Eagle service between Los Angeles and Chicago, Illinois. Topic. Airport Tucson International Airport IATA, TUS, ICAO, KTUS, is 6 miles kilometers south of the city's center. TIA is the second largest commercial airport in Arizona, providing non-stop flights to 15 destinations throughout the United States. In addition to passenger and freight service, TIA supports the 162D fighter wings fleet of 70 F-16s stationed at the Tucson Air National Guard Base. There are two general aviation reliever airports in the area. The city of Tucson operates Ryan Airfield 13 miles southwest of the city center, and the town of Marana operates Marana Regional Airport 15 miles to the northwest. Pinal Air Park is also within the metropolitan area. Topic: <inaudible> Roadways. <inaudible> <inaudible> there are two interstate highways in the metropolitan area. 
Interstate 10 runs southeast from Phoenix through Marana, passes west of downtown, and continues east toward El Paso. Interstate 19 leaves the I-10 south of downtown and heads south to the Mexican border. Arizona State Route 210 is a shorter expressway that links downtown with davis munthen Air Force Base and Tucson's southeast side. Tucson does not have a beltway system, and relies almost entirely on surface streets. Freeways and state highways in Tucson include Interstate 10 Interstate 19 State Route 77 State Route 86 State Route 210 Topic: Cycling Cycling is popular in Tucson due to its flat terrain and dry climate. Tucson and Pima County maintain an extensive network of marked bike routes, signal crossings, on-street bike lanes, mountain biking trails, and dedicated shared-use paths. The loop is a network of seven linear parks comprising over 100 miles of paved, vehicle-free trails that encircles the majority of the city with links to Marana and Oro Valley. The Tucson Pima County Bicycle Advisory Committee serves in an advisory capacity to local governments on issues relating to bicycle recreation, transportation, and safety. The League of American Bicyclists awarded Tucson a gold rating for bicycle friendliness in 2006. Notable people Topic: Sister cities. Tucson has eight sister cities, as designated by Sister Cities International. Topic: See also. Davis Munthen Air Force Base. Hyundai Tucson. List of tallest buildings in Tucson. List of historic properties in Tucson, Arizona National Register of Historic Places listings in Pima County, Arizona Optics Valley Sons of Tucson Tucson Garbage Project Notes <laughs> <laughs>